right, Sitio Weekly, Brianna T, William H, Seth P. I'm just doing the last initial. Well, why That's were you good. saying his full name in the first place? I don't know. <laughs> you don't but you know what else I thought? I thought maybe I'd go BWS. Sitio Weekly, BWS. Whatever. So stupid. What? <laughs> well, the initial, like, just our first initials. <sighs> You're putting so much thought into uh, it. Okay, folks, let's just get to some headlines, shall we? Guess what? It's all about the midterm. All eyes here in Situate. We're on that state rep seat for the fourth district. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. The fourth Plymouth district. And the winner is Situate's very own Patrick Kearney. Woo! You saw this. There it is. Uh, Kearney defeated Republican Ed O'Connell and Independent Nathaniel Powell, Powell with roughly 56% of the vote. Kearney is 23 years old. This win makes him the youngest rep in the state house currently serving. That's crazy. Isn't it? Good for him. Uh, here he is celebrating his win at Widow's Walk. At the event, he spoke to the Patriot Ledger. Take a listen to what he had to say. I wanted to thank everyone for coming out to vote. There's a lot of high record turnout. We worked really hard to talk to voters in Marshfield and Situate, knocking on doors, asking people what their concerns were. And it resonated. We had the highest turnout we've had in a long time. And for everyone that was involved in the process, thank you. For everyone that cast a vote for me, I'm eternally grateful. I won't let you down. I'll be working really hard as your next day. Great, perfect. Do you have anything? Yeah. You are the youngest member of the State House of Representatives. Talk to me about that. How exciting It's very exciting. There's a lot of issues that are facing the next generation. And I'm excited to work for all the residents of Marshfield and Situate, but specifically those that don't have a voice up on the head. So it's great to see Situate take that seat. It's been yeah. a Marshfield, uh, Marshfield, Cantwell. We know that for a good long while. I'm not sure so how many, many years. years. Nice to say, hey, uh, but we got some other races to fill you in on. Look at this. Uh, over in the 3rd Plymouth District, Democrat uh, Joan Machino was reelected, defeating Republican Kristen Arut. Uh, also, Republican Senator Patrick O'Connor declared victory, securing his second full term in the state Senate with Plymouth in the Plymouth Norfolk District. He faced off against Democrat Dr. Katie McBride and Independent Stephen Gill. Side note, Katie actually uh, won here in Citrate. She beat O'Connor. But in the overall totals, she uh, I didn't she lost. Know any of this? Yeah. Well, I mean, I did, but never mind. You see, we're legit here. Yeah. Look at our oh, news headlines. She's the one who had the stethoscope on the thing. She right? did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was never really feeling those signs, but you know, they you were see everywhere those? though. McBride and had the a stethoscope in a shape of a heart. No. Okay. You've seen them. They're around Situate. So she actually won in Situate, but yeah, but just not, not overall. In no. the state. Because is that state? Never no, mind. no, 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 just in the area. Forget it. Hey, you know what? Uh, you heard Kearney mention earlier about that voter turnout. Look at these numbers. Uh, it estimated 2.4 million people here in Massachusetts turned out to vote. Uh, 2014 saw 2.1. 2010 uh, saw 2.3. If you're wondering about the situate voter turnout, 70% of voters turned out. That's a lot. It's huge. That is a lot. Well, you've mentioned that one what was it, the years back, 2%, two, 3%, two percent, percent? Yeah, you say something like that? People don't really vote, vote in the midterms, I think. Sometimes. There's interest. 70%. But huge. this was a big election. So. Hey, if you swung by the high school, you know 70% showed up because it was a mess. Uh, and it's very good the school was closed, but that doesn't mean you didn't have school because you had mm -hmm. the, first, uh, the first time doing this thing called blizzard bags. Right, yeah. Fill us in one more time on what they are for people that weren't paying attention before. So again, with the blizzard bags, it's you, instead of missing a school day and making it up at the end of the year, you do work online. It's given to you through Google Classroom, which is just an online you know, homework and stuff. Um, <laughs> and it's just 30 minutes per class. It's quick, it's easy. I found it wasn't actually 30 minutes per class. I didn't have more than 20 minutes of stuff to do. but Because you're that good? Yeah. <laughs> some, some classes didn't even give uh, any blizzard bags at all, so it was actually really easy. But, what? Um, yeah. Is no. this cheating? No, not what? all classes had to give blizzard bags, I guess. Um, I only got three classes full of blizzard bags, yeah. So you only had to do like an hour's work? work no, not even. Work. No, Here's not a even. picture of one uh, thing he got. What's this one from? It's from your teacher, Mrs. What, Dwyer? Uh, Mrs. Dwyer, yes. Yeah. So yeah. It, was a, it was a post assessment on the whole entire class and what we've learned. And basically the post test we would have taken that day, but um, we just did it online instead. So either way, I got it done. All right, so this is, this is what has me. So this will take you 10 minutes at most. You'll get 25 mm -hmm. points for doing this no matter how you do, so don't stress. What's it, the point? Okay. Don't take it out of context. It's a health class, right? It, yeah. She does add, it's not obviously, like it's a math please class. try your best. 
and it's to see how much they learn. William, I couldn't help but note you only did three of these questions. Did you end up doing the other three later? No, 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 I did them all. It's just I'm not, it didn't say that on there. You're going to have to trust me on that. All right, moving on. <laughs> Such a, hey, we got a big uh, waste grant, and it's, uh, there's no waste about that. Wait, that was stupid. <laughs> No, I'm not cutting it out. I can't. <laughs> oh, God. Look, just look at this video. Uh, all the bigwigs were on hand over at the Maritime Center. Secretary of Housing and Development Jay Ash swung in to our fine town to announce a $2.2 million grant that will help the town's sewer infrastructure. Woohoo. Next. That's good. Okay, let's get to the good stuff at that meeting, though. Bigwigs were there. Big guess, wigs. guess that the main bigwig. And Burbine. Here she is in the middle of the um, the crew that we're all there sort of celebrating. Will, do you know who Anne Burbine is? Yes, yes, I do. I know. So you know she's like the mother of dragons here in Situate. Yeah, and how do you know her? I, I just know the name, really. Yeah. She's great. Now you know you don't make eye contact with her you unless just she. You call her the mother of dragons. Mother of dragons of Citra. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that. You do not speak to her unless she speaks to you first. If she's coming down that hall, you get out of the way. Yes. Okay. You love her. Um, hey, also, Brianna, your favorite. Look at this picture. Okay, so again, there's Anne Burbine. I know, I'll probably get in so much trouble for taking that picture. But look who's sitting next to her. Do you know who that is? Warren Burger? No, the Toll House <laughs> Brothers. Oh, gosh. Yes, there they is. are. Oh, 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 that is? That is his name. Oh, look at you That's knowing That's the attorney's that name, name yeah. right? This guy? Yeah, there they are. Believe that? What are they doing? Thought you'd like that. They're just hanging out. Didn't well, because so this is the whole deal. So the, people complain about new development coming in. They're like with the water, and it's going to hurt our town. This money assists with that. So the more people that come in, our, our infrastructure is going to be better. Whatever. Hey, I got to make a quick mention because I met a guy out there that's a big fan of the show. Cool. His name is Will Branton. He uh, watches. I said, hey, you must be the only one watching. He said, oh, no, he's got friends. Um, so, Will, like any good person that uh, is a fan of the show, we certainly go online to stalk you to see what we can find out about you. And uh, I just want to talk about one little picture. Here's the picture I found of him. That is Will in a boat during the 2018 storm. The water wow. looks very shallow. Yes. Wow. Right? Don't you ever see these pictures? Will, what's going on here, buddy? He Where did you find this rescue. picture? Yep. It's on the Patriot Ledger. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. You think he has that framed in his house? How funny is that? He's not even facing. You that's think he turned around and he didn't want to be like photographed? I wouldn't want to be. That's funny. What if that was like a traumatic event for him? Oh God, Will. And he just broadcasted. Oh, he, lo he looked TV. fine. He looked well. He's recovered. He's recovered. Will, that's thanks, good. buddy. Thank we'll you for watching. watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, senior center. We got drama. We hadn't had this before, but drama. it all comes down to the entrance for this new building. So look at your uh, screen here. We've talked about this. We've told you many times the design firm proposes a new standalone building at the Gates property with only the gym part remaining. Now they could connect that new building in the gym and uh, that, that could be, but more importantly, it's about the front of the building. So this graphic, mm -hmm. which by the way, our S, uh, SCTV intern, Will, right here, he put this together for you. Believe that? Good job, Will. Um, yeah, we've <laughs> talked to, we talked about this last time. It comes down to the north side versus the west side. So that indicates it right there on your screen. So um, if it's on the west side, that means it wouldn't be facing the street. If it's on the north side, that's exactly how Gates mm -hmm. is now. But the design firm says the best option is the west side, which of course, you know. Stupid. People aren't going to want. They're going to want to look at it. So the. It won't be facing the street. Blah, blah, blah. Folks, you're going to vote on this eventually, so. I'm so tired of talking about this. I am no too. offense. I shouldn't have even brought it up. I just think that you're, we're literally talking about where a door should be. I know. In a building that's not even approved yet. I saw a woman post that she wanted to know what was going on with the uh, Gates School building. Ma'am. Go back to April. Friday. Watch hey, those episodes. Uh, Situate Food Pantry, guess what? They, they need your help. They, uh, they're they looking to put together about 130 holiday meals for Thanksgiving. Will, you know a little something about this, don't you? Mm-hmm, yeah. What are they looking for? Uh, they're looking for just for you to go to the local supermarket, grab some food. and What kind uh, of food? Uh, they had instant mashed potatoes. He put, he put a graphic together on this. Oh. Turkey. Inst not, not just ma instant mashed potatoes. Right? Inst yeah, instant mashed potatoes. He was very nervous about putting this graphic together. He put mashed potatoes. <laughs> and he's very well, yeah, if I put mashed potatoes, I didn't know if it was going to... Who's going to grab mashed potatoes? He's so sweet. <laughs> no, no. Hey, so... Uh, Stuffing. Yeah, yeah. Stuff like that. Yeah, Go help them out. Go do that. They need some volunteers, too, right? Don't mm -hmm. they? Oh, nice. Uh, but they did point out that a lot of the grocery stores are having sales right now, so it's a great time Ooh, to smart. go pick this up. Speaking of grocery stores, Shaw's, 3A. Uh, Plastic bags. Wait, that reaction was not what I meant. 
I'm glad they got rid of plastic you bags. You are. Yes. They're gone. Plastic bags. As of November first, no more plastic bags. Just put handles on the paper bags. She's not happy, uh, Shaw. They she were wants hard to on carry those. the other day. Yeah. Have you been there yet? No, I, yeah. I have no idea. Bring it back. You literally you have, have to the carry them line. like in your arm, yeah. like, you do like old this. fashioned. Yep. Like yep. who carries groceries like yeah. that? I didn't realize it, so I went there, and I got this. I told Brianna this earlier. I felt a little judged that I didn't have a bag. The woman, really? the, the cashier, seemed a little annoyed that she had to get out the brown paper. Oh, yeah, because will they have bagging people anymore? No, I'm sure they Well, don't. I did. I went to the 10 items around her, so she was by herself. <laughs> but you see the, the big displays of all like the reusable bags they have there. Yeah, a dollar per bag. Mm -hmm. Keep that in mind if you go to Shaw's. Bring it back. And this will be on the Situate ballot next week. That's right. Special town meeting. That's coming up. Keep, put that on your calendars. We're going to be voting on plastic bags. Uh, I'm sure it'll pass. Most people just kind of want them gone. You never know, though. So, who will that affect? Like, um, v well, Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but that we should talk about that briefly. So, yeah. you know, most people are like, plastic bags are bad for the environment. There's some concern, though, that it will um, have a negative impact on local, like, mom and pop shops because they really can't afford to sell bags. I don't know. Someone I don't know. I, c I really can't think of a lot of places that have plastic bags off the top of my head. You're thrilled by this, aren't you? CVS. I mean, I think it's. I, I don't mind it. I think it's a good idea to get rid of plastic bags. Yeah. It doesn't affect me either, so I guess. When that's you go to the grocery store, do you bring your own bag? I bet he does no, a grocery no. shop. I don't. I mean, I've gone. No, I've gone grocery shopping before. Yeah, I've never. Brought, <laughs> I've never brought my own bag. <laughs> you haven't brought your own bag. No, but I mean, I would. I mean, now like, we're gonna have to. Yeah, no. I mean, uh, honestly, I'll just to, get I the paper to, bags. Yeah. To be honest, that's fine. I just want the paper bags to have handles on them so I can carry them. I can agree with you on that one. From my car to the door. And not go. have to take two at a time. Hey, I mentioned the high school uh, fall concert last week, but I forgot to mention one uh, really talented situate girl, Abby Tondorf. Am I saying that right? Yeah. I think here I she think is. So. She scored the lead role in the Hingham Civic Music Theater's production of Annie. Woo! These are her promo uh, shots. This is a big deal. She's 13. Jeez. A lot of people actually may remember her from the Gates performance of James and the Giant Peach. We had a lot of calls about that. Cool. But uh, meanwhile, this show is all the rage. In fact, it may already be sold out at this point. People want to see this. When is it? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Have you seen the movie Annie? Which one? The, the 80s? The new no. one? No, no. no. Which one? The one from like 80s. The Annie? The yes. redhead, yeah. Yeah. What do you mean? I don't, I don't know. know. I was traumatized by the end of that movie. What? Weren't How you does scared? It end? How does it end? Oh, wait, 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 She, she uh, goes up like a bridge or something and is dangling from the top. I don't remember that. Yeah. You were scared I, I didn't, by that? I, didn't watch it. I remember being a kid being terrified. All right, that's fair. Wait, have you seen the new one? Yeah. The that remake? That doesn't seem like... No, I have not seen the remake. So you've never seen any of the Annie's? I haven't seen all, no. You know the song Tomorrow? Huh? Little Girls, Hard Knock Life? <laughs> Kate, Steve. The sun will come out. That song? Tomorrow, tomorrow, I love ya. Tomorrow, you're only a day away. Really? It's the, the Hard Knock Life, that yeah. song? Yeah, no, I know that. Oh, that's a different one. No, I think that's, you're thinking of a different song. Uh, yeah, it might be. I, I feel like I don't, that's, I don't, an, honestly, that's like in a popular song. That's in a popular song. Yeah. Line, yeah. <laughs> but it lifts, yeah, but that's, it lifts. <laughs> Okay. I'm Forget gonna, it. I'm gonna talk to your parents. Kate, Steve, Annie. That doesn't. That I, I'm not surprised by that. Really? Mm -mm. I don't know what to tell you. Can't see him really loving the musical theater. Okay, let's move on. That's all I got. We have some stuff next week, don't we? Speaking of musical yes. theater. First and foremost, the special town meeting. Fine. Um. So first, next Wednesday Wait, is. Wait, did I miss something? 
What? Was I supposed to bring something up? No, but it was just going to segue easily oh. to Mamma Mia. Oh. <laughs> All right. But first on Wednesday, there's special town meeting, yes. which is located in the high school gymnasium. 7 p.m. At 7 p.m. Anything else about that? Mm -mm. I think that's it. Thursday, um, we, got a, we got a coastal prep uh, meeting over at the library. Head over to the library, right. 6 p.m. To prep for all the storm stuff coming your way. I think we're losing them. Maybe. I feel like if I wasn't talking so much, I would lose myself here. And then Friday, Saturday, <laughs> maybe Sunday. I'm not sure. Hmm. Mama Mia. Mama Situ Mia. Situate High School Drama Club. Do you know about Mama Mia, Will? Uh, not too much about it, no. Again, musical theater. Yeah, yeah she must be a point. Not big into that. What do you do, Will? Mama Mia is a classic. Mm, it's a pretty broad question. <laughs> are you, what are you, like, into? What am I into? Yeah. Um, what movie did you see as a child that you remember? Uh, it's too many. I don't have a bad memory. Well, we know he likes superheroes. Memory. Yeah, sure. I like superheroes. He said the Marvel things, right? Yeah, but I'm talking like when you're three or four years old. Your parents yeah. aren't like, let's go see Avengers, Infinity War. Yeah. <laughs> or were they? Or were they? Maybe they are. So what, are they, like, what kind of movies? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, Home Alone. Oh, Home Alone. Home, Home Alone. Okay. Movies. Okay. Those are great. There you go. Mm -hmm. All right, a lot more coming up. Hey, we're going to find out about the uh, issues that the youngsters here in Situate are concerned about, uh, and their responses are quite interesting. Youngsters? <laughs> we're back right after this. All right, welcome back to Situate Weekly. We're the TMZ of Situate, as some people like to call us. Brianna, William, Seth. Uh, okay, midterms, they're over. Special town meetings coming up, so um, issues around the world, and especially here in Situate, are still on a lot of people's minds. Minds. Uh, our good intern here, William, has been very interested as well. And uh, what did we have you do? Well, what did you want to do? Uh, well, I was curious about what some of the kids in my grade thought about problems. Uh, you know, because kids in my grade don't really get involved in politics; they're not really that interested in that kind of stuff. So, I went around and asked some of them what they thought the problems of Situate might be, and uh, the answers were interesting. Yes, they were. Take a look at this. What is one issue within the school? Uh, the junior parking lot location. It is a hike. I'm here today with Tristan Smith from Situate High School. Now, Tristan, tell me one thing you don't like about Situate. I despise the locker rooms. They're, the lockers are awful. They're old. They smell bad. They just really need new locker rooms. Okay. Thank you, Tristan. I'm here today with Jacob, and Jacob is going to be telling me about one thing that he doesn't enjoy about Situate. Uh, I think that one thing I don't enjoy about Situate is the uh, roads. I think that the uh, Department of Public Works doesn't pave a lot of the roads, especially the main ones. And I know that like uh, it comes down to things like they can't pave roads in certain uh, environments when it's like winter or cold out. But like they just choose like the wrong roads to pave. They should start with the main ones and go to the side ones. All right, thank you, Jacob. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here today with Charlotte Falvey. Charlotte, what is one thing you don't like about Situate? Um, I don't like the cones when I'm driving into school because I almost hit them every single day. Thank you, Charlotte. I'm here today with Aiden. Aiden, what is one thing you dislike about Situate? Uh, one thing I really dislike about Situate is how the freshmen take up all the hallways and they're really slow and boring. And thank you, Aiden. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here today with Tommy Green. Tommy, what's one thing you hate about Situate? Um, big thing for it applies to all like the students and everything uh, paying for parking at Citrus High School when other towns don't have to pay or they have to pay like a like three dollars or something like less than our like 120 or whatever it is all right thank you Tommy no problem okay I'm here today with Caroline Caroline what is one thing you don't like about Citrus um there's not enough senior privileges at Citrus Okay, thank you, Carol. I'm here today with Molly Gould. Molly, what is one thing you don't like about Situate? Um, I don't like how it's a wicked small town and not very diverse. Okay, thank you, Molly. I'm here today with Sean McNeil. Now, Sean, what is one thing you don't like about Situate? Well, Will, there was one thing. It's got to be some of the teachers, administration. Like, I feel like they do target some of us kids. And... Like sometimes you, I guess I could say it could be the athletes, but I'm no, I'm no longer an athlete, so I couldn't say that if I wanted to. But I do feel they do target. And Mr. Wargo is a savage, amazing guy. Talk ever one on one with him, you'll have a good conversation. It always ends up good. Okay, we'll get back to that last comment uh, here in a second. Uh, first, though, let's discuss a couple elements within there. I want to talk about the uh, the the complaints about parking for pain. Mm -hmm. Here at the school. Paying I, for parking. I, what, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> what did I say? Parking for pain? Yeah. Oh, my God. This show. Oh, God. Okay, paying for parking. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. You think it's just too much? I, it's it's, it's a lot. $120? School's got to make money. What? Why? Okay. 
but $120 is a little excessive. Where's the money going? And not only did I have to pay $120, but I didn't get a good spot. I mean, I don't, mm. I didn't, I'm not in the senior lot. But you know, if you have good grades, you get the better spot? True. Fact. Ooh. If you have Kids, good grades, yeah. listen up, Lola, cool. young. better behavior, clear records, you're more likely to get a spot in the senior lot than someone who wow. pays the same price as you but has less. Wait, when I was get. here, That's granted hardcore. five years ago, it was alphabetical. And then, like, it would alternate. It was, like, alphabetical, and the next year it was, like, anymore. backwards alphabetical. So when I was a senior, it was backwards, and T's at the end of the alphabet, so I had a front row. And here's what I always think about, though. What if you're a junior, you're, like, at the top, and then your senior year, you're like, forget it, and then your grades just plummet. Forget but you've it. got the best spot, so they're not going to take it away from you, Who you cares? know? No. Yeah. That's a weird system. I mean, I get it. Um, it's like an incentive. What else? Oh, that one kid talking about the roads and the potholes. Very specific. Smart. But I agree. I 100% agree. I mean, when I'm driving around... The last thing I want is just to be bumping around the yeah. road. It's just yeah. Especially when you're surfing on mattresses. Tell me how I'm getting home. You too fine to be laying down in. Yeah, especially. You that's, don't want potholes, that's, that's, you know, that's good. That's a good, good Brianna. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay, back to that one student's comment. Um, the last one you heard. If you missed it, here it is again. I'm here today with Sean McNeil. Now, Sean, what is one thing you don't like about Situate? Well, Will, there was one thing. It's got to be some of the teachers, administration, like, I feel like they do target some of us kids, and, like, sometimes you, I guess I could say it could be the athletes, but I'm, not, I'm no longer an athlete, so I couldn't say that if I wanted to, but I do feel they do target, and Mr. Wargo is a savage, amazing guy, talk every one-on-one -on -one with him, you'll have a good conversation, it always ends up good. Okay, uh, I was going to... Uh, write this off as like, ah, oh, it's just the kid, disgruntled, all that. Uh, and then I asked William here, I said, well, do you think teachers and the administration here in the high school target uh, students? And you said what? Well, uh, I think it depends on the student and the teacher, but depending on the reputation you have and the teacher uh, that you have, uh, I think there is some. Yes, some you do. For you sure. think some... I think I, I think it's happened to me before, definitely. And... Um, the problem with it is it might come off as you're looking at this kid and you're like, you're like, oh, of course he would say that he's being targeted. Like he just wants a way out of, he wants a way for people to feel bad for him. But really, I think it's it's something that is true and that people look past. And targeting has always been um, a sort of thing in high school for uh, me. And I've known many people who get targeted. You see it on a daily basis because teachers are more likely to look out for someone who uh, they know might be or they think might be doing something wrong based off what they've done. Wow. Before. Do you have, uh, you went to Situate High? I was and, like a goody two shoes. Though, yeah, I but feel. do you feel like any of your friends may have been targets? Um, no, hmm. but again. Let me ask you this. The ones you're discussing, do you think uh, there are more male targets or female targets? Um, can I say this without being offensive? <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, more male targets. Interesting. That's honest. You know what maybe you do? Maybe we have you, so Wargo clearly got called out on that as being a savage, which, by the way, is a good thing with the, young, the kids these days. Savage is good. <laughs> yes. So maybe we have you go talk to him okay. to get his opinion on this. It's pretty fascinating. I think it's a good idea. And we'll have to find out the yeah. teachers, too. Yeah. We have, to do it, we have to do it off the record. Undercover. Hide that. Huh. Thanks for doing that, though. Yeah. Look at you. Very interesting. All right. We got a lot more coming up. It is the uh, home of the week and the pet of the week. Uh, plus your feedback. It's always fun. We're back right this. For us. Okay, welcome back. Mm, Brianna, That's William, right. Seth, Such It Weekly. You all right, Seth? Glad you're joining us. Let's talk business of the week. <laughs> Why are you talking Exciting so slowly? business of the week. I don't know. I'm give, I've given up. What's our business this week? This week we're featuring another South Shore business. It is called Karen's Corner, based out of Quincy. Um, they offer the latest in comfortable women's clothing in different styles. Um, again, we met them at Heritage Days, and you can check out everything we learned about her here. Um, I own a boutique in Quincy called Karen's Corner. I've been in business for 30 years, and it's contemporary clothing and accessories, and I think this is our 10th year doing wow. the Situate Heritage Days. Awesome. How did you um, come up with the idea to start your own business? Um, while I was in college, I started doing a flea market, and that helped put me through college, and so I knew right away that I wanted to open a brick and mortar. Great. Awesome. Um, what advice would you have for people looking to start a business of their own? 
as much research as possible and you're gonna learn new things every day. 30 years into it and I'm still learning new things. Um, if you want to learn more about Karen and her business, you can log online to www.karenscornerquincy.com. Check her out on Facebook at Karen's Corner Quincy or send her an email, karens.corner at yahoo.com. Look at that. Hey, folks, while that's, uh, that graphic's on your screen, let's take a little look at it because, once again, our SCTV intern, William, put this together for us. We love having an intern. All right. <laughs> this looks really good, Will, but uh, you want to know something, Brianna? Keep looking. He struggled a little bit with where to put the woman. Oh, no. I he originally had her right where she is now, <laughs> right in the center. All right. Mm -hmm. But then he couldn't figure out how to make the text work. All right, So fair. he moved her to the left. And okay. then there was too I much. tried to wrap the text around it, you know. Ooh. And I was like, that just doesn't work. So then we put it back in the middle, put the text it. over, oh. and we added a, like a bar in the middle. Ooh. Faded oh, the nice. bar slightly. Cool. So you could see the text perfectly, but it didn't like, you still see the image in the background. Cool. I was proud of it. Yeah. Yeah. You know what you It really do? stressed him out for a while, though. I mean, I know you don't want to go into graphic design, but you uh -huh. could come up with like a portfolio of all the things you've made here. It's not a bad idea. We'll, yeah. We'll put and then you together. could no. have it like, I don't know. Just as a showcase. When you leave, I yeah. guess. All right. Hey, well, there you go. You know what time it is? Time for that home of the week. The little game we like to call Guess That Price. If you just watching, tuning in. Try to, Brianna's going to walk us through her home. They're going to guess the price. I'm just, maybe, we just need some new segments. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah, we can. I think I'm getting. Yeah. I'm getting. Oh, I guess the price, though. Well, yeah, no. It's because well, he's new to it. Um, it's only his third week. I know. It's I've our 28th week. It's our 28th week playing Guess That Price. We've been doing, folks, we've been doing the show for more than almost. More than six months. Yeah. I think we started in January. Yeah. Well, that's wow. good. You like it. I mean, that means people Maybe at home. someone will like it. I, just, I, I like it. Maybe I just need like an it's energy drink. It's not switch up, though. I mean. Yeah, we could. We'll come up with. Maybe like a pop culture, like TMZ kind of thing. Maybe. All right, fine. All so right. You need to pick them. So here's how this works. Brianna's going to walk us through the home. If you're at home. You're going to guess that price at the end. William's going to do it for us right here on set. So, Brianna, where is that home? This house is located at 701 Country Way. Um, it is a four bedroom, three bathroom, 5,268 square foot home. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know how I haven't featured this before because it is in the top five most expensive homes listed in Situate. You love your expensive homes. I do. I mean, when you look at them, they're like crazy. Yeah, you guys always give me the really expensive ones. Yeah, mm. I mean, and they're more fun than looking at just like the average ones, I think. That's true. So there's a lot um, of architectural detail going on here. I know, it's, been it's on, crazy, yeah. Right? It's, oh, I like that. It's I been on Zillow for 40 days. And without reading the like description, can we talk about the ceilings? The ceilings yeah, are right. crazy. The vaulted like oh white wow, ceilings. big fan of that. Right, vault table. very cool. Table it's very um old fashioned -y style, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this study, I when I looked at it the first time, I thought it was a courtroom yeah. because it just looks he loves so the study. like Will loves the study. formal, formally <laughs> um, place. Like I said, four bedroom, three bathrooms. Elegant, stately, historic Tudor home, lovingly and meticulously restored by owners. Um, an extraordinary family property built in 1893 as a private library for the town of Situate. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Um, grand formal living room with soaring cathedral ceilings, double chandeliers, a marvelous fireplace, Brazilian cherry bridal staircases, Intricately carved wooden arches. This description's really long. Mm -hmm. um, it abuts the 100 acre Ellis estate, so controversial property. Uh -oh. um, like I said, it's been listed on Zillow for 40 days, built in 1893. Um, I think the dining room's a drawback. The dining room is a drawback. Let's very tiny, very, very mm. cramped in there. Interesting. Let's, you know. Well, okay, I think that's it. Well, you think you've seen enough pictures? Yeah, I think so. And it's actually really interesting because I know I, I used to pass this house every day. Oh, ah. really? Yeah, Denton North Situate because that's where we used to, yeah. friends used to walk mm -hmm. down there, bike down there. This is like. Um, in relation to the Purple Dinosaur Playground? In relation to the Purple Dinosaur Playground, it would be if Purple Dinosaur is on your right, you go just straight for like a mile. A mile. So it's in between that and like Mary Lou's? Yes. Oh, okay. Right in between, yeah. All right, so you've seen the pictures. Mm -hmm. Now it is time. I know the location. I've seen the pictures. Another location. I know the, I've seen the pictures. And you said this was top five most expensive homes in Situate? Yep. William's been looking at real estate. <laughs> 17 years old, folks. This is a tough one, though. 17 years old. 
All right. It looks a lot bigger on the inside than it does from the street. It does. Yeah. Agreed. Okay. William. Agreed on the dining room. This might be one I, I might just have to go for it. Guess just go for it. Bryce. Let's <laughs> see. Two. Two point three million. You cheated. You had to. What's yeah. that price, Brianna? Two point two nine million. Let's go. <laughs> I, I, swear, I, I swear I didn't look at it. You got to believe me. On this uh, one. Now. You're, that's probably what he does at night. He gets on <laughs> Zillow.com. That's exactly what he does. I have to pick like a random one next week. Yeah. I'm in tip of my car. Oh, it's really? I just. I, he just, just knows. A random, yeah, there's just no skill in that at all. Look at you. Well done. Well, fine. Well done. Okay, let's move on. Time for that pet of the week. Um, you know what? Guess who, wanna, who selected our pet this week? Again, intern, William Hearn. Mm -hmm. yeah, now, do you remember? Him. Yes. Do you think you can tell us about who? Um, I think so. All right, <laughs> look at this picture here. All right, William, who is this? Who are these little creatures? These are two guinea pigs, and their names are Hershey and Oreo. <laughs> the salad. I know. They love that. They love their salads. Um, and why did you pick these guinea pigs? Why? Uh, I don't you know. know. By the way, he was really excited about the dogs, and then for whatever reason, he saw the guinea pigs, and then he lost it. He was like, well, "No, we have to do these." No, I don't know why I wanted to do them so bad. I just thought it was. I, I thought they were cute. How it was Oreo, Hershey, and Oreo, and they both look like or an Oreo and maybe a Hershey bar. I get it. Hey. And it was, and they're guinea pigs. I don't know. 28 yeah, weeks like of choosing animals, I totally get it. I don't have a guinea pig, and I probably wouldn't want one either because... Why? I don't know, I just feel like the whole cage thing, the cleaning of the cage isn't... Ugh. It's not me. No, oh, you don't like to do that? No. But, I, I mean, I, I still think they're really cute, though. I would be a great pet for young children. Yes. yes. I don't know why I think that. Play around with I think them. they but really I do. are. Where can they be adopted, Seth? Where can they, William? They can be adopted... <laughs> just check. <laughs> Where are they located? <laughs> they're located in situ. The Situate Animal Shelter. Can you believe that? All right, so go check out uh, Hershey and uh, Oreo. Mm -hmm. They're waiting for you. They're waiting for you. Aww. Let's move on. To what? A little Situate <laughs> social scene, all that chatter online. We love this segment, don't we? Maybe this is the segment we cut. Maybe. I don't know. Unless tape. there's something big. But this week, this is kind of big. Um, Citroen High School cheerleading actually just advanced to regionals for the first time since 2009, so almost 10 years. Um, regionals will take place Sunday, 11-11, in Franklin. Good now. for them. Good for them. Uh, their coach, by the way, got really upset with the fans uh, at a football game probably like three weeks ago because the, the, during the halftime, the home squad does the cheers first and then the opponents come out. And the thing is with cheerleading, it actually, there's not, you, you sit there and you watch your opponent and really cheer them on. But the fans, the Situate fans, when the opponent's they cheerleaders do. came out, they they screamed and everything. The cheerleaders could barely hear themselves and could barely do their routine. Mm. Yeah, and the cheerleaders' coach was like yelling at them to stop. Oh. Good for them. Hey, but good Drama. for you. Good for you. Yeah. Uh, all right, all right, that's it, right? That's all I've got. All right. Got anything from social media you want to tell us about? No. I should really start looking into this, shouldn't I? Just because I have anything extra to add in. Yeah, <laughs> maybe you'd have like a uh, young. Cool. You don't really like the social media, though, do you? Not really. No, that's okay. What's your f favorite app? Like social media app? I don't really do that many things on my phone. I don't have much stuff to do on my phone. Fascinating. But yet he's got so much to do in life. Would you? I, I'm, I, all right, you, you want to know what I do? <laughs> I do random things that have like no, like I just, I'm like, I just try and find new things to do every day. Okay. Like, like the other, like, lately I've been working on like soldering. I don't know if you know what that is. It's mm -hmm. like mechanical components, like oh. a keyboard, or like, it, like literally everything. Like it's a little iron that you melt metal and you connect wires together. I've been working on that. I've been working on... Why are you doing that? What are you... Just for fun. I just like doing it. <laughs> I took apart my friend's computer the other day to, um, good. to put a new software on it just for fun. Like that's literally what I do. Like huh. I just do random things for fun. We're not into the social media, though. That's no. okay. No. Well, good. Maybe we'll have to... Maybe you bring in some wires and show us how to do that. <laughs> you know what? I can if you want. You could take apart this computer. <laughs> Maybe that's what uh, we should do. A new segment with him. Like, <laughs> but yeah, technically. Will, Will does dot, dot, dot. And he just does Ooh, something. And he just sit fun. here. A new segment. Yeah. Show you something I, I yeah. enjoy doing. Yeah, like on time. the Cam and Teddy show, they make Teddy eat new food every yeah. week. We there could just do Will cool. doing new things every week. Love nice. That. Challenge cool. myself to learn Keep an eye out for that. Probably coming your way soon. Next hey, week. we got the, we got a lot more coming up. It's your turn. It's your feedback. We are back right up to this. All right, welcome back, Central Weekly, Brianna T, William H, Seth P. 
Just come up with a better intro. That's, That's the yeah, first this, this is This is where I'm at right now. I'm, I, I'm really, it's a rhythm. It's like I'm bored with everything. Okay. I'm gonna, I really got to switch this up. Yeah. All right. But the thing is that some people like, like the guess this price. That's okay, I guess. Just no. lacking. I don't, I don't know, know how to fix this problem. I don't know. I'll work on it. I'll work on it. Guess what time it is? Time for your feedback. Hey, we got an email from uh, Rashad um, uh, Miller. And he wrote, I found your last uploaded video on YouTube. Was pleasantly surprised. Ha ha. Video is mm. awesome, though. I'm going to advance your video to my YouTube accounts with thousands of fans and subscribers. And you will get about 100 new subscribers. Just follow the attached link. I'm either having deja vu or you've done this already. No, that was another one. That was my good friend Abdullah Karam that wanted money. I did get another one about the No, happen? this is it Rashad? Did Rashad? I this is this seems the familiar. One? <laughs> you oh. Unless I'm having crazy deja vu. I don't know, but which is possible. We have not gotten hundreds of new subscribers. I would like a few <laughs> new really subscribers. I think we have like four. Thirty? Hey, I got some verbal uh, feedback from Emily when she came into the studio and saw our, our nice little set here. She said, wow, this really is looking like Between Two Ferns. All right, Emily. look at this side by side. We know, Zach, what's this, Galifianakis? Is that my saying? We that? have so many new additions this week. Look at this set. We have this lamp. Everything. Will is new. Permanently borrowed Soda. from <laughs> locations. This leaf thing, this like pumpkin. Probably shouldn't showcase that pumpkin. She doesn't know we have that. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> It'll be returned. Um, In time. We're trying. And the ferns are green to just add some life there you to go. this dying show. There you go. If you've got comments about uh, our show, the set, or if you have ways that we can get hundreds of subscribers on YouTube. Or new ideas for set Email us. Voicemail us. All that info is right on your screen. Mm-hmm. Anything else? Are you really liking it here? Are you enjoying this? <laughs> what are you? Are you really enjoying this? <laughs> I, I think question. honestly, at this point, I'm enjoying it more than you are. Could be. Could be. Uh, I still want to come over and hang out with your parents. What? I do. That's really weird. Yeah. yeah. I like his parents. You've met them. Nice. Uh, well, just from the video. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> the mom, you know, I like the mom and the dad. Yeah. I'm more like your dad. Your like, parents just leave do me seem alone. cool. I'll say that. You know. <laughs> That's that good. Kind of hey, all right. Thanks for joining us. Sister Weekly, Brianna T, William Hearn, Seth B. We will see you next week. Maybe. Maybe.